What's going on guys, Gas Station here for FEE3 2016, and today we're going to be playing a new submission called The Book of Eden by Ricochet, and with me, um, as usual for FEE3 2016, is Prime Fusion. Hey everyone. Um, so, uh, this one uh, is, I'm going to be playing, I think the first two chapters or whatever, it's, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, Let's just go. Yeah. Wow, this looks familiar. World map. Yeah, it looks kind of like yours. <laughs> Stealing my color schemes. <laughs> Curse you, Ricochet. <laughs> <laughs> the continent of El Drago. Home to stories of might, magic, and valor. A place where wander defies logic. It is split into five kingdoms. The kingdom of Ashia, known as the land of the unoppressed. Ruled by King Desmond the Kindhearted. Mm -hmm. The Kingdom of Moira. I once had a girlfriend named Moira. <laughs> Hopefully this does not relate to her. Ruled by King Drazan the Cruel. And uh -oh. Br oh, brother to King Desmond. Moira is only sec Mo Moira is the only s is only it's the second largest <laughs> kingdom in El Drago but has the strongest military. Ilya, the holy city, ruled by the holy empress Genwin. The Iliadian Empire is the biggest on the continent. People far and wide come and make pilgrimages to the Holy Land, further increasing the weight of the empress's words. Mm -hmm. Alamut. <laughs> the city of Deek. <laughs> ruled by Prince Deek of Sen. <laughs> a figure surrounded by mystery and rumors. Home to the thieves, outlaws, and mercenaries. It is one of the most dangerous cities on El Drago. You killed my father. <laughs> and Norcrest, the newest kingdom of all, the newest kingdom on El Drago. Ruled by the spoiled Prince Kagan. Hmm. Sounds like Keegan. So, <laughs> that's weird. The only Awkward. reason Norquest manages to stay in power is because of the surrounding gold mines. These five kingdoms have a complex history and even more complicated relations. Despite their differences and problems, the kingdoms managed to secure centuries of peace. But in a flash, the whole continent is on the brink of war. Uh oh. It is inevitable. It's only a matter of time until peace will be nothing more than a, than a distant memory. We follow the footsteps of not a king, noble or lord, but a rather ordinary young man. A man who is more machine than man, <laughs> who is involved in the cause of this war more than he knows. Oh, no more, just than he knows. Ad living over here. <laughs> Freestyle. The journey begins. In earnest. For real this time. Oh, Sarah music. I think that's the third time I've seen that tree. Mm. This is hopeless. I'm never going to make it out of this forest. What is Wait. that? Sp spider? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> get off me! Ha! Take that, you stupid baby carrying spider. Ah! <laughs> Get off! No, no, no. So many spiders. Get off! Get off me! Ah, my eyes! Oh. They burn! Ugh. Since when do spiders spit? Ugh. Jeez. These country spiders. Damn spiders and their evil offsprings. Well, this is great. Now there's no familiar trees looking... Looking trees anymore. Ellipses points. What was that noise? More spiders. Is that someone screaming? 
it's more spiders. Ah! Uh-oh. Um, not spiders. <laughs> Humans. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> well, well, what do we have here? Two wretches and some old man? We don't have anything. Please let us go. Oh, that's where you're wrong. Those two lasses will be sold to the highest bidders. No. Let them go. Oh. Dick. Okay. Oh, okay, bye. Wow, okay, I guess... I thought, I thought they were gonna... Huh. <laughs> Bad start, okay. <laughs> Couldn't save them, they just died. <laughs> help, please help me. What? What's going on? You mind your own business, boy. <laughs> No! <laughs> Let me go. Stop moving, your ass. Ah, screw this. <laughs> oh my lord. I thought they were trying to make money. They just, they just killed those guys. <laughs> ah, well, crap. This is not good. I'm just going to go on my merry way. <laughs> now, where did Lee and Fiona say, they, say to meet again? They couldn't have gone too far, considering I only... Why are the bandits running towards me? Uh-oh. 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 Triangle attack! <laughs> Critical hit. Hey, come on, guys. I don't want any trouble. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Sorry, boy, but we can't be having any witnesses. Plus, it'll be fun to hack you into pieces. What about the village, boss? Right, you head back and finish things. I will take care of this. Hey, I'm standing right away, boss. Well then, I hope you're more fun to fight than those tech skips. Come on, <laughs> this isn't necessary. I don't care what you think is or is not. I'm going to enjoy hacking you into pieces. Oh. Well then. Oh. Richard What are you saying Richard a young man finding himself mellow and pragmatic Mellow and pragmatic. That's an interesting keeping combination chill. keeping it chill What about this guy this angry villager Maxim member of the bone brigade a group of <laughs> savage bandits Oh my god <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right Boom. Just a common guy with a big sword. Mm -hmm. Just your everyday fire emblem hero. <laughs> Pretty Just doing my job, my lady. <laughs> Name's Richard. Got a big sword, got some boots. <laughs> like to put my hand on my hip and flip around. Slaying bandits. <laughs> Specifically, of the Bone Brigade. Bony bandits. I'm going to enjoy hacking you into pieces. Prepare yourself, boy. He likes to repeat himself. That's like the third or fourth time he specifically <laughs> said hacking into pieces. Yeah, this villager sure is bulky. <laughs> <laughs> and has blonde hair. Not your average villager. <laughs> he's not your average villager. In fact, he's the leader of the Bone Brigade. <laughs> Maxime. Not to be confused with Maxime. What? How did you... Not to be confused with Maxim, the creator of SimCity. <laughs> or Bada. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Solid. Just Thanks. your everyday mercenary hero, getting level ups like a boss, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ha. I did it. Can't believe I fought them off. <laughs> I killed two bandits with my triangle advantage on a forest. Why are the trees spinning so fast? I don't feel so good. Eee! Why are there so many bodies lying around? Richard! No! I vanish! Prologue, the journey begins, has ended. Stop. Well, that was your pretty standard bandit chapter. We got our common old, our chillin' pragmatic Lord Richard mm -hmm. fighting off some bandits. Very, very Fire Emblem-esque, I'd say. <laughs> Let's, the map uh, seemed really big. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna yeah. put that out there. That's yeah. really the only complaint I have. Otherwise, it's pretty solid. Yeah, pretty good as far as uh, prologues go. Now, let's continue. 
the fire, fire emblem. Em wow, right we're, we're, we're jumping right into this. After fending off his assailants of bandits and spiders, <laughs> our hero continues towards the small village to meet with his friends. After being carried by his friends for a good distance, unbeknownst to everyone else, Richard and his friends harbor a secret that will decide the fate of the world. The three of them do not realize the power they hold in their hands, oh, really? or the roles that they will play in the upcoming war on El Drago. Oh do my tell. god. Do You're tell. gonna rely on this spider phobia? Ara <laughs> spider phobia? I, I feel Arachnophobia. like the spiders gave him more trouble than the bandits, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is Maxime? He should have been back by now. Not sure, boss. What do you want us to do? He probably found some rather wretches to quote unquote interrogate or behead. Yeah. Just continue with the rest of the search. We didn't find anything, medallion or otherwise. Well, keep looking. The boss lady doesn't like to be disappointed. All boss right. lady. Ooh. Who that? Milady. Ah. <laughs> uh, Richard, can you hear me? Wake up! Damn it, Fiona. Can you stop yelling? <laughs> there are bandits around and I don't want to be killed. It's okay, Lee. I'm alright. Just a little winded from the fight earlier. Just gotta walk it off. I never expected the fight to be so... real. Just walk it off, buddy. Yeah, it's not easy. You should have practiced more instead of spending so much time with Alicia. Ooh. Ooh. Alicia. Steamy. Lee. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, there are people here. Really, Fiona? I just told you to stop yelling. <laughs> Man, they have supersonic ears. Boss. <laughs> Why are you here? I told you to keep looking for the medallion. There are some people at the edge of the village. Probably some poor saps wandering around. Tell the boys to kill them and continue looking. Wow, that's ruthless. <laughs> they wrecked this place. Look how many busted houses there are. Ah, great. <laughs> you still able to fight? We can come back next time. No, we continue. Not sure if the medallion will still be here next time. I'm not even sure that this it, that it's here this time. What are we going to do then? We get to the house on the far side of the village. Hopefully the medallion is somewhere in the ruins. And hopefully before Wilmark and the others find us. Hmm. Wilmark, eh? The plot thickens. <laughs> Interesting. Njord. A thug who pilfers villages as he sees fit. Uh-huh. Bears a striking resemblance to the first boss of FE6. Interesting. <laughs> Fiona. An optimistic marksman, cheerful and bright, as well as optimistic, and as well as being a marksman. <laughs> a good friend of Richard, smart, but clumsy. Of course. Of Ooh. course. A low-level wind magic. Alright. Neato. Do you like me wind magic? Alrighty, well, uh, pretty big map. Hmm. Mm-hmm. But I guess we'll just so we got beat everyone an archer up. and a brigand right off the bat. Ooh, get the Win. doubles. Ooh, nice. custom map. Let's go. Uh, ricochet, how a boy. Solid. Good use of CSA. Oh, I like that palette too. Mm, I like that too. Though I just realized like Fiona could have taken out this bandit on her own. <laughs> See your stats. She's very good. Solid. Nine speed. She's the fastest guy on our team. <laughs> fastest lady, I mean. Wow, she has nine speed and six strength. Six Wait, strength. How much? How much did the mage have? Seven speed and five. So, so our mercenary is the slowest member in our team. Well, he's just a chill, pragmatic dude. <laughs> he's just chilling. He on likes the to. He likes to. He likes to ride the waves, bro. <laughs> this is what he's. He's Richard, man. He's scared of spiders, and he just likes chilling out. He just he likes taking flow. naps. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, it just goes to the flow, bro. <laughs> Don't hate on Richie. <laughs> Don't hate Richie, man. Don't hate on Richie, man. <laughs> Richie's cool, man. <laughs> uh, 
liking that wind animation. Mm-hmm. It's very, uh... Wow, she is just tearing up. Doubling mercenaries, of all things. Goat, right off the bat. Fiona. The cheery and optimistic archer with a chip on her shoulder, apparently. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Step into the ring, Fiona. <laughs> you want to mess with Fiona? <laughs> that was a terrible mistake, kid. You're going down. <laughs> uh, All right. Bandits and bandits and bandit. Okay. Mm, so I, so if, if Fiona were like WWE, what would be her, her stage name? Uh. Um. Let's see. Something that has to do with being a marksman. Mm -hmm. What about Deadshot? Well, I mean, that's already taking. That's literally a superhero name or a supervillain. Oh, is it? I am not yeah. familiar with superheroes, to be honest. Oh, really? Deadshot's a character in the Batman universe. Mm. Well, How about something else now? The Hit Woman! <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's just destroying everyone. Wreck. She's a mad woman! She's a hit woman. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go, Rich. Richard! Allons-y, Richard! Oh, my. Richie, man! <laughs> man, I just wanna chill, man! <laughs> I just wanna chill out, swing my sword around, do some backflips, run away from spiders. <laughs> I don't wanna fight these bandits, that's not me. That's not me, man, I just wanna ride the braids. That's my style, my style, style. man. I'm just trying to chill. Oh, my lord. Solid. Two strength level ups, this guy's a monster. And he got, that was two strength and two speed in a row. Ooh! Right in my sternum. I think. Hey, gotta get those dodges in, bro. Oh, my lord. We Double wind. The doubles, though. These bandits ain't got nothing on these winds. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of vulnerabilities going around. Yeah. Like, one, two, three, four, five. And there's three of us. <laughs> and we're just, like, dodging everything. <laughs> Um, and we're just gonna move up. Ooh, he's moving. He does move. What? You're not, Maxime. What have you done? We killed him, bro. Pew. He messed with the wrong Richie. I am Richard. <laughs> and you will lose. <laughs> Bam. Mm -hmm. Arg. This can't, be. can't be. I'm s s stuttering. <laughs> it's c c cold. <laughs> mum, mum, mum. <laughs> All right, we're supposed to get to the house. Seize the house. Conquer All right. Conquer the house. This house is mine. <laughs> is that the medallion? Yeah, as far as I can tell anyways. We can compare it with the books once we get back to Ashia. Risha! Quick, hide it! Oh. Oh. Sage. Ooh. Ah, there you guys are. Cormac. Wilmark. Ellipses and points. <laughs> The king is not going to be pleased. Keep this up and we'll throw you in the dungeons. Relax, Cormac. Settle down, boy. You can't keep us locked inside the city forever. Everyone relax. Cormac has a point, Lee. Hey, Richie's already relaxing. That's his you default. super chill. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the brink of war. Anywhere outside the cities are very dangerous, especially in Moira territory. What were you guys doing out all the way out here? It's like Lee said, we were going we were getting tired of being locked up in the city. I see. Either case, it's getting late. We should start heading back before it gets dark. Sorry, won't happen again, Wilmar. 
I'll go get Fiona. Are we just going to let them off the hook? They were clearly looking for something. Just let it go, bro. <laughs> chill. Let it go, man. Let it go, man. Just gotta, just gotta chill, man. Just gotta chill. Just take some points from Richie and be chill. Find your mellow, bro. Just gotta chill. <laughs> gotta chill. They, they are our guests, not prisoners. I'm sure they were just out for some sightseeing. You're too nice sometimes. Just what are you three looking for? Sounds mysterious. The plot uh oh, no kidding. Later, Later that, that night. night. Hey, so did you find out anything about the medallion? There's nothing much, really. Just a bunch of what ifs and could haves. What he's trying to say is everything known about the medallion is either rumors or lies. Basically, we have no idea if it works or not. <laughs> or if this is even the real one. One person kept over and o one person kept appearing over and over in the texts. This person, known only as the Prophet, kept popping up. Hmm. Damn it! <laughs> I guess we'll just have to find this Prophet then, won't we? It's going to be a while, though, considering that we aren't allowed to wander freely outside the city. Could be worse. <laughs> what should we do now? Only thing we can do: Chill. we wait and play along until we're able to go home. What if we never get the chance? Let's not get too carried away. Take it one day at a time. Keeping it chill. Richard's chill crew of chill... <laughs> chillsters! <laughs> Why don't we just let everyone else know about this? Lee is shooting off fireballs out of his hands. And I saw a flying unicorn the other day. <laughs> that's interesting. I don't think that's a good idea. What if the locals think that we are lying about all this? What can we even say? I'm still not sure where we are exactly. You guys still remember how we got here though, right? Yeah. Well, not quite, but what I do remember is being sucked into some vortex. Whoa. Wowzers. Some sci-fi looking <laughs> vortex that just appeared out of nowhere? <laughs> I ended up waking in some forest, wandered around for a few days before bumping into you two. You were, you were exhausted and even looked like you were going to fall over and die. Ha! Well, on the bright side of all this is, uh, we're living out of the fantasy of every 12-year-old boy. <laughs> this is, uh, it's going there. I do wonder where we are, though. The past year hasn't really given us much to go on, either. It's okay, I've been keeping count. At least I hope I'm not off. For someone with such a bad sense of direction, you are quite good with numbers. Ah, uh, don't look at me. We did the same thing. We did the same. We did see the same tree about eight times the day we appeared in El Drago. Ha! Lighten up, Lee. We all have our flaws. <laughs> Anyways, all I was able to find out uh, in the Ashia Library is that the current year is 746, AD or BC. I'm not even sure those apply to wherever we were at. Hmm, I hope we can get back home. It's been a long day. Let's call it a night. Okay. Good night. Get some rest, you two. See you guys tomorrow. Ellipses. Don't worry, guys. I'll get us home. Ooh, this is interesting. So they're from, like, a different dimension? They're something? from, like, Earth, I think. I think huh. they're from Earth. They're because they said A D or B C. So that's obviously a reference yeah. to the, the, the planet. And he said sci-fi, which is yeah. like a dead giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Um, yes. This so this is a uh, a story of people who got sent into a dimension from our time, and now huh. they're in Fire Emblem. Dope. That's that's a new one. That's intriguing. The kind-hearted king. After learning that the medallion known as the Fire Emblem cannot be used on its own, Richard Lee and Fiona decide to keep an ear out for news of this elusive prophet. After all, even in a world filled with magic and flying unicorns, <laughs> our heroes fear their origins of being from another world will frighten the locals. But truth be told, even they don't really know exactly where they are, much less when. 
The past year has not been kind to our heroes, and Richard doesn't want to lose the good faith King Desmond has in him. So to earn his keep within the castles, and to blend in with the crowd, Richard has agreed to help out with various mercenary jobs and duties. King Desmond is known for caring about the people he's under his rule, but with the war looming over the horizon, he is not able to send soldiers to every village in need, for fear that the capital and important locations are not defended properly. Having kept their true nature to themselves for the past year, the three figured it should be easy enough to continue to keep things a secret. Everything was moving along smoothly until the mention of the medallion was heard by Richard's colleagues. Oh no. That's not good, bro. That was uh, the FE3 presentation for the Book of Eden. Um, interesting premise of a story, I have to say. The whole vortex changing thing is something I've not really seen in modding around here, so... No, pretty interesting I mean, angle. Pr interesting, unique angle there. Um, maps are pretty flat, uh, but I don't know. I guess it's not really an issue. It's uh, they're fine. They're yeah, fine. they're fine, I guess. They're fine. They're fine for these first few chapters. Um, gameplay was pretty easy. Uh, everyone's getting really good level ups. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like very strong level Richie ups. Richie, like, just coming at, like, perfect level ups every time. Fiona yeah. is amazing right out the gate. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Um, it's funny, like, Richard has... Richard ha Richard is said to have chill, but he has no chill. <laughs> no chill on those level ups. Yeah, so all in all, um, good show, good show. Good and uh, interesting potential for this premise. I'm not really sure where it's going to go, mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued as well. Alrighty, so that was uh, The Book of Eden by Ricochet for FE3 2016. I'm Gast, and with me was... Prime Fusion. And we'll catch you guys the next video. Peace. See you later.